show you kind of cool little thing that I just put together. Um, uh, we'll make this a YouTube thing. I'll probably uh, mute part of it because I want to be safe. Um, this is based off of my double zoom out, zoom in transition thing, which if you haven't seen, we made a whole nother video about. So I'll, let's go ahead and do a transition and then I'll show you the new little live meme that we just put together um, as well. So fun stuff on here. Let's go ahead and go over here. So you kind of notice how it takes a full scene and zooms out. That same concept is applied now with our new little meme. So let's go ahead and show that off as well. So we're zooming into a TV and we're <laughs> now transitioned out. What a dork. You are a bunghole. <laughs> That's pretty much the concept. It's fun, it's easy to do, and we'll show you how to get it uh, all set up. Hey, appreciate you swinging by uh, my YouTube here. Here's where we do anything we can do to help you out on your stream, whether that's visual, audio, um, or brand. I do what I can to help you out. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I'm kind of reboosting my own little private Discord. A while ago, I del deleted it, and now I've just reestablished it, and I'm making these things available for download through there. Um, so if you want to get some easy stuff that's already made for you, including a really cool queue system, um, it's all available um, through the links down below. If you haven't done so already, help me out on the YouTube side with a sub, and follow me on Twitch. Links everywhere they need to be. Uh, beyond that, though, let's get started on the video today. So I'll show you what we're talking about. All right, before we get into too much on there, there are some prerequisites. I am using OBS Studio and I am using the Move Transition um, plugin. I've covered this a million times along with Leorn board. Um, so if you haven't installed Leorn board, I've got a video down below for you. If you haven't installed this Move Transition, I've got a video down below for you. If you don't have a queue system, I've got a video down below for you. Um, so anyways, yeah, get this guy installed. You're going to need it. Um, you can kind of do it without it. And I'm also going to be using the downstream keyer, um, but you can kind of just use nested scenes if you really need to um, to make this work. Get this guy downloaded and you should be good to go. All right, so the other thing we're going to need to do is set up some assets. So basically, I went ahead and made a video. Um, the very first section of the video is important because uh, to have a little bit of a delay cut. So I kept it at one frame because that's going to be our zoom frame on there. I overlaid some audio, and I went ahead and put in my own little Photoshop thing in there, and it worked out pretty well for me. Um, it, you might need to do your own little thing here or change it up or whatever you want to do. Basically, I used Shotcut, and it was pretty easy for me to do. All right, so now that we've got basically our video set up and made, I can show you kind of what it looks like in OBS. Um, basically, you need a scene. Um, I went ahead and just used my scene collection too. It's already made for me. I already have a scene that within the, um, and in that scene, I have uh, all my other scenes. I know I'm going to say scene like 3,000 times, but basically what I'm going to be doing is turning on um, whatever scene I'm currently on. So if I'm currently on my game scene, I'm going to turn on this game scene. It's small right now. It's going to start off actually big. So you won't know that I've turned this on in front of it. So it will look exactly the same once we start firing off what we're this whole um, trick that we're going to be doing. Um, and you can use the downstream here. That's what I'm using. Otherwise, you can just use a series of nesting within nestings. And then this is the same size of the TV that we're going to be um, overlaying with. So this is kind of the video and you can see it starts off with that green screen part of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn on a filter here and I chroma key that spot out. And so when I turn it on, my scene is already within that TV. Now it doesn't start off that way when we actually have it on the meme size on there. So once you have this lined up as best as you can, and again, I'll make the video available for download for you. Um, it's going to be a different size because um, aspect ratios are just a little weird. And if you actually see on this blue blue line here, I had to stretch it out. So it's actually a little bit bigger than the, the display window, but it works. And um, it might be different for you depending on um, what you've got going on, I guess. And you can see the chroma key kind of messes up. So we're going to toggle the chroma key off right about here because it's no longer needed um, because in these other scenes uh, there's a green there's green within the lettering and there's also green within this little um, I guess glitchy rainbow mode right there there's green right there too so we have to use Leon board to toggle at the proper times and now all we have to do is group these assets together so I'm gonna group the video on top 
of all the scenes. So you highlight all these guys here, and then you create a new group, and then you can manipulate that group move. And that's already grouped for me, so I'm not gonna mess around and move it, but you can see once I go into the scene collection here, I've got these, these move filters already made for us. Um, these are just the move sources. So I'll move it to the side. And the idea here is we're going to use Leorn board to um, go from one size to the other size. It's pretty pretty simple on there. So uh, I have the big one where it's all zoomed in. Okay. And then we also have it going to small. So I just have to time this at the beginning. So let's try it right here just manually. So we're going to start off big right where it is the full scene right there. And then we're going to zoom it out. I was a little bit uh, early, but it it works out pretty well. And then we just reset these things using Leorn board. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's go over to Leorn board and I'll show you the actual coding. Okay, I'm using my little queue system that I made a video about before. And if you want to get this guy, again, another asset just, just waiting to be downloaded for you. I'm just trying to make things as easy as possible. The idea is if this is the trigger, either by me pressing it on my stream deck or you can have it like as a twitch trigger or you can have a button within a button within a button you can have another button press this button goes into the queue and then spits it out um in in um in the queue so the yellow part down here is the actual function so i think i had it set to a 26 so those edit commands yes this is 26 i believe um this actually needs to get fixed because it's longer than five seconds so Let's fix that while I'm here, because I will forget. The whole time for this thing is about 15 and a half seconds. So let's go 1550. That's the, how much time this will take. Uh, all right. So um, this just is my queue system at the very top on there. Uh, so the very first thing we need to do is establish what scene we're on. I've already set up in Leorn board a variable where S equals my scene number. So if I'm on my BR base screen, I know that I need, I am on, uh, I, I have that set to variable one. So if S equals one, I turn on that BRB screen. So I'm masking it right there. Um, or if I'm on the other screen, like the game screen, I will basically if S equals five, I'll turn on the game screen, for example. So this is just identifying what scene I'm currently on and masking the scene. So I have it turned on um, in front of it. And then I go ahead and animate. Pretty simple on there. I turn on the video. Um, I animate it so it starts to shrink. I turn off the chroma key about three seconds afterwards because we don't need it anymore. And then we reset at the very end. And then we go ahead and turn off all of my other scenes just in case it was one of the other ones that was toggled. Um, and then this very bottom one, I just toggle my music off and on so it doesn't interrupt the stream. That's it. It's pretty simple uh, stuff overall. Yeah, really looking forward to making more stuff for um, fellow streamers. I think this is a really fun, interactive, uh, unique looking kind of live meme. And I might do a few more like this. So make sure you're subscribing to the videos um, so you can see what's going coming out the shoot because I've got some other stuff planned to come out in the near future. Other than that, I hope you glitches have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.